hello hello my friends how are you i'm here once again for another episode of um spirit-led ministrations worship and prayer um i just i want to do a quick one today that says um be that encouraged wait on the lord and he shall strengthen thy heart wait on the lord i said wait I'm going to um, talk from the book of Psalm 27, verse 14. Because, um, you know, I have just been studying the book of Psalms a lot lately. And I, uh, here and there, I will come across some chapters or some verses that will just... And then the Spirit of God will begin to just speak to me, either about something that is going on with me or something that I have experienced in the past. And the Spirit of God begins to just uh, show to me how He was able to get me through it, or just uh, to 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 help me to understand that particular uh, uh, chapter uh, in in a different way. I know there are different. I'm not a pastor. Uh, my name is Princess. I'm just somebody that the that the Holy Spirit has found mercy upon, and uh, in 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 somebody that God is changing uh, little by little so um, I'm just I just want to talk to us today about the, the topic of of being patient the the topic of us waiting waiting um, and but while waiting not grumbling I know sometimes it can be oh pardon me oh thank you Jesus I just want to say a quick prayer <laughs> Your Spirit is reminding me that my ministry is worship and prayer. I need to dance. Thank you, Lord Jesus. So, uh, you know, I need to start with the prayer and a little worship. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Uh, Father, Lord God, I honor you. I glorify your name. I thank you, Lord Jesus, for this moment, uh, for this um, uh, spirit-led ministration, uh, ministry of uh, worship and prayer that you have called me into. I am before you, Lord, I am nothing, but I know that uh, by your grace, by your grace, I'll be able to stand strong, I'll be able to stand firm and run this race well. I ask, O oh Lord, for your forgiveness and for your blessings upon all those who are going to watch this channel. Uh, thank you, Jesus. Just want to sing just a little, you know, a little bit of uh, worship as God is just reminded me to do. Thank you, Jesus. I give you glory, Lord, as I honor you. We give you glory, Lord, as we honor you. Sing with me if you know this song. Feel free to share. You are wonderful. You are worthy, O oh Lord. You are wonderful. You are worthy, O oh Lord. Thank you, Jesus. You are wonderful. You are worthy, O oh Lord. You are wonderful. You are worthy, oh Lord. Thank you, Jesus. So, um, I just want to uh, start uh, by saying that, again, that um, lately I have been studying the book of Psalms a lot. And from time to time, I will come across a, a, a chapter or a verse. And as I begin to meditate on that verse, the Spirit of God begin to just um, explaining to me in a in a way that sometimes is different from how I have heard other uh, people talk about it, or how I have heard other uh, preachers talk about it. I'm not a pastor, but by the grace of God, I am here doing what God has called me into in recent times, which is worship and prayers. And also ministration of his words as he leads me to do. Thank the Lord for this channel. If you come across, I haven't started sharing this channel. I haven't started based on what the Holy Spirit wants me to do. 
I am just doing my recordings. But if you come across this channel, feel free to share. That's fine. Share, invite your friends. Thank you, Lord Jesus. So I'm here to talk about this, uh, to encourage us on this, on this topic of us waiting, waiting for, 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 for God to, to help us through uh, whatever situation that we find ourselves in at a particular time. Of us not being in such hurry because many people uh, due to the need to, to rush, to rush to do things on their own, they have found themselves in situations that that they did not hope for. We all have been there. I have made my share of mistakes. I have made my share of mistakes in the past. And let me tell you, I am not saying that in the future that I may not make the same mistake again. But one thing that God, I know that God has promised me is that He will lead me, He will be with me through. But I'm here to talk about, to, to encourage us, to encourage us that sometimes when we are going through things, we need to wait. We need to go in that, find a, a, a place where we can be able to converse with the Lord, where we can be able to talk to God about that situation. There are so many ways that God can speak to us. I always say this to people. I say this to my friends. I say this to my family. I say to my, I say to my own self. God can use anybody to speak to anybody. Just like God is using me now to speak here. And somebody is going to come across this, this recording. Is going to come across this broadcast. And these words are going to touch that person. In a way that is probably different from, from how they have they have heard it explained before and who knows whatever the person is going through at that particular time this world that i'm speaking right now might be able to help that person wherever at any time to get through it um when I got to the book of Psalm 27, when I was going through it, and then when I got to the last verse 14, it hit me. It says, Be not be discouraged. Let me see if I'm quoting it properly. Hold on, let me op open my book. Hold on, hold on, hold on now. <laughs> I'm not a Bible scholar and I don't pretend to be. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Psalm 27. Look for it. Put on my glasses. Most high. Yes, you are the Lord. All right, so Psalm 27. I'm going to look for some. Um, quickly go to Psalm 27 so I can quote this properly. I don't want to misquote these words. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Lord. I tend to I enjoy worship a lot. By the grace of God, my program, my next program is coming up next month on the 21st. Worship and prayer. Alright, so I'm gonna read here Psalm 27, verse 14. I'm using the uh, New King James Version. It says, Wait on the Lord, be of good courage, and he shall strengthen your heart. Wait, I say, on the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Many times when I read uh, the Bible and uh, God, I begin to meditate on certain things, I try to bring it to our, our present day time. Sometimes I try to bring it into my life based on whatever it is that I have experienced or what I'm experiencing. Or I Reason it with what somebody may have discussed with me, trying to seek advice, and then sometimes I get a lot of wisdom on how to uh, give advice to many people who come to me uh, concerning different situation, marriage, uh, children, job, uh, you know, worship and prayer. So I'm here to speak to somebody today, sometime, someplace, someday that is going to come across this uh, a video because I have not started sharing these videos. 
by the grace of God, I'm just I'm I'm strictly following uh, the instructions of the of the Holy Spirit concerning this YouTube channel. So uh, I'm here to encourage somebody concerning this issue of waiting. Many times we go through so many things. I don't know what you are going through right now. I don't maybe maybe you how you 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 trying to get married and you waiting for somebody the, the right man the right woman to come into your life it could be you trying to get pregnant and you trying this you trying that and when you're going through those things mind you so many advice will come from so many people sometimes we tend to run to everybody for advice but in the midst of all that confusion in the midst of all that fears and concerns do we go to god in the midst of all that fears and all that turbulence and all that doubt uncertainty of the situation that you're going through at any particular time how often do you seek the face of God concerning that thing? How often do you go to a quiet place? Or I'll, I'll call it a secret place. Where you want to go speak to God concerning that situation. For God to begin to minister to you. Sometimes when we go on our knees and speak to God. Or mind you, praying to God is not only on your knees. You can pray to God in any way that the spirit of god put in your heart to pray there have been many occasions when i wanted to pray and i wanted to lay kneel down as i as i kneel down to start praying i'll begin to hear that voice get up sit on that chair and speak to me and i will obey that command i you can pray while driving in your car you don't have to close your eyes all the time all the time anytime the spirit of god come into your heart and speak to you to start praying just go ahead and pray sometimes you may not even know have a prayer point but as you begin to pray you will see god begin to put, plug in those prayer points so in the uh, i'm back again to say this uh whatever the situation is that you tr you're dealing with right now is it your document are you looking for a job? Friends always betraying you, that spirit of, 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 of confusion. You, every, every friend you, that come into your life, they betray you, they lie against you, they steal, they run your name down your mouth, and you're so nice to them. You're so nice to people. Or what is it? Are you married? You are in a bad relationship or you're engaged and not suddenly the, 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 the man or the woman suddenly just after so much preparation and the, 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 the wedding planning is ongoing and something just come in and, and, and everything just go bust. This happens to both men and women. It's not just women. It happens to anybody. Have you been accused of something that you know nothing about? Sometimes when we when things are going on in our lives and mostly unfavorable things, many times we don't have that initial thought to 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 go speak to God first so that he can direct us. No. Most of the time, you know, I, I, I'm guilty too sometimes. You know, in the past, I have been so guilty about it. But in recent times, I have learned to first go to God. I have learned to first just seek the face of God concerning situations. So when you're dealing with that situation that is so unhappy, that's making you so sad, it's making your heart so heavy. And sometimes you 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 talking to everybody. You 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 need you need you. It's not your fault. The human emotion, that 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 human feeling of looking for somebody to speak to, we are it is there. It is natural. But many times, in that our need to speak to somebody quickly about the situation, without first asking God first to, about this thing. Sometimes we end up getting the wrong advice. Sometimes, a lot of times, 
we end up getting the wrong advice. But don't get me wrong too. Sometimes the first person you speak to, it could be your God sent person at that particular time. You just speak to that person and they'll be like, no, the problem. I know what to do. And they will help you through it easily. But there has been many occasions when we have issues that are so uh, hurtful, that are so scary, that are so painful. And our, our minds are going everywhere. We are so uncertain. And we forget. We forget to go speak to God about it. We begin to talk to everybody. Sometimes in the need in the need for us to speak to somebody about it, we end up speaking to the wrong person. And that wrong person is not even going to help you. Instead, they will take it. That thing that you had discussed secretly with that person, they will now take it and blab it all over the place. Maybe you were broke and you needed to you needed uh, some money to add to your rent. And you just, oh, let me quickly speak to this person. Oh, help me out a little bit here. I'll pay you soon. Even if they have it, they might say time may go into their heart and prevent them from being of help to you. But that's not even the worst part of it. There, they might now take it and go to the next door neighbor and go to the, your co next co-worker and go to the next church. Listen, it is everywhere, even in the house of God. Satan can enter the heart of anybody against you. And then before you know it, you just wanted to confide in somebody about that thing. Before you know it, five people are calling to say, Oh, well, I'm so sorry. I heard you were going through this. I, and you only spoke to one person about it. But sometimes there are times also when some things are happening and we just take say god is 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 you and i this is between you and i lord i i am in this situation right now i don't know where to go i don't know who to go speak to i want you to direct me now i will not leave you alone i am not going to leave you alone until you direct me Look at the book of First King. I always go to Hannah. Hannah and Penina. You know, they were women married to the same man. But then, Penina had lots of children, but Hannah did not. But Hannah waited patiently. But in the midst of all that waiting, she always went to God in prayers. She always sought the face of the Lord in prayers. And one day, one day, God finally answered her prayer when she went to the temple to pray. And the prophet at that time, the priest or the prophet thought she was drunk. And the, what, 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 what audacity, how dare you come to the house of God so early, so drunk, talking, I can't hear what you're saying, but I know you're opening your mouth. You must be drunk, woman. But then she said, no, my Lord, I am not drunk. My heart is heavy. I am talking to God here. And then God now heard her. He now used the prophet to answer her, pr her prayer. And the prophet, you know, blessed her in that sense. She got pregnant and gave birth to a son called Sam Sam Samson. I'm here to encourage us, my brothers and sisters. Uh, like I said, I am not a pastor. I go by the name Sister Princess. I am not perfect. I have made my share of mistakes. Does, does that mean I'm not going to make mistakes tomorrow? Oh, <laughs> we will. Me. I use the word we. Me. You that will be watching this video. We will make mistakes. But I'm here to encourage us. I always like to use the word us. I always like to include myself. You know, I'm not that kind of like you, you acting all holy, all perfect. You, 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 you do. No, 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 no. We, we, we are in this race together. Us, us. Because whatever I, you're going through, I may be going through the same thing. Whatever I am dealing with, you may be dealing with the same thing. 
or whatever your neighbor is dealing with you may be dealing with just that a lot of times we don't know what we are dealing with but god knows so just like uh, uh the book of psalm 27 said here this is the shout the verse that really got me uh, uh, uh meditating and god began to speak to me uh you know concerning us waiting let me read it again psalm 27 verse 14 it says wait on the lord be of good courage and he shall strengthen your heart wait i say on the lord what are you dealing with do you have a stubborn child all of a sudden your son your daughter who used to be straight A's, uh, very obedient, nice child. All of a sudden, if they, they, not, they, want to, they want to now wage war with you. Something has gotten hold of that child. Wait on the Lord, I said, wait. But don't get me wrong. When you're waiting on the Lord, you're praying, God, help me. Father, help me. I don't want to lose my mind. I don't want to use all this rage in me to deal with this child. Speak to me. You, 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 there's that inner voice there's that voice of the Holy Spirit that will begin to lecture you that will begin to speak to you concerning that child that will begin to speak to you concerning that situation and you're trying to find a job listen, nothing just happens all those situations that we are dealing with there is a demon someplace there is Satan somewhere that is using somebody something to bring all kind of issues into our lives. And sometimes we, we may not even know it. So as you try as you as you as you you trying, you, you, you're speaking to God. Yeah, what I'm just trying to say here is this. Whether you are a Christian, you are a Muslim, you are a pagan, we all agree that there is a God. There is one God, just that many different religions, there's differences on how we, I pray through Jesus Christ. Some don't pray through Jesus Christ. Some say there is no God at all. But the Bible says only a fool will say there is no God. So I'm here to tell us here that situation that you are, that you are dealing with. Be encouraged. Be of good Cheer, wait on the Lord. I said, Wait, He will strengthen thy heart, He will empower you, He will begin to speak to you, He will direct you to the right person. If we just pull back sometimes before we jump around, oh, somebody, there have been situations where people you're driving down, there's somebody that the devil has gotten into their head and they have a gun in the car, they're trying to overtake you. I've, I've had drivers like that. They're driving everywhere, they don't care. Listen, my brother and sister, a lot of people, the, dem the devil is, is busy. You come across a crazy driver on the road, give, give them a chance, let them go by. Don't be dragging the road with somebody. There, is, there, there was in the news one time when uh, two people were driving and one overtook one and the other one flipped the other guy a finger and just that act of not just ignoring the one that overtook and said, ah, Lord, thank you, go your way. He, just that act of wanting to get back, flipped him a finger and said a few cursed words to the other driver that was already in the, in the mood to, to kill himself or somebody. He came out of the car, took the gun, and shot the other guy. And the police came and asked why. Well, I was angry because my girlfriend left me. But what if the other guy had just let him overtake him and go by? Without trying to prove a point. Listen, there are so many things, situations that we just have to let God handle for us. We just have to let it be. You don't always, you don't have to always, uh, uh, Kenny Rogers. There's this song by Kenny Rogers that says, you, you don't have to fight to be a man. That word fight does not always mean physical fight. 
so many fights that we get in ourselves into physically verbal altercation so many behavior so many things that people do against us physically against us there is a spirit pushing them so sometimes we need to attack that spirit we need to begin to rebuke that spirit that Satan want to use it through that person to come and start to deal with us. There are so many uh, uh, situations where we need to wait on the Lord. Is it finance? Many people, because of our uh, financial uh, constraints, they have ended up dipping their hands into money rituals uh, begin to go use before you know it go join some secret cult before you know it they are being asked to go bring their son their daughter their mother and then or go bring uh, a stranger somebody some people have blood in their hands because they wanted to get rich quick i'm here to tell us here to the us including me Wait on the Lord. Be of good courage and he will straighten thy heart. Wait on the Lord. I said wait. You're looking for a job. You applied in 10 places. None of them is employing you. Don't you know there's something underneath? Do you think that is ordinary? Instead of getting all frustrated and beginning to hate everybody around you, hate your family, hate your neighbors, hate your husband, hate your wife, why don't you go on your knees to God and begin to speak to God? Say, Father, Lord, what is all this? You said to me that you will provide all my needs according to your riches in heaven. You said your storehouse is filled with milk and honey. You have so much from you have so much good for us. I am your child. I pray. I go to church. I go to church. I am. I try to be good. But I have gone to apply in 10 places and no one is calling me. Father, there is a spirit that is preventing that favor from locating me. Begin to attack that spirit. That demon. That stronghold. You have your application someplace. In 10 places, whatever, 5 places. And nobody is calling you. That is not ordinary. Nobody. No, come on now. There is a spirit somewhere that is holding and preventing employers from even noticing you. Who knows? Chances are as soon as you drop it, even the secretary just take it and dump it. Listen, when Satan put a mark of, 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 a, of a lack of favor, a mark of lack of honor, on somebody it takes the spirit of god to break it so instead of being all frustrated okay i can't find a job okay let me and uh, then you start talking to everybody you talk to too many people before you know it, somebody will be like come ha, ha, ha. i know one baba in this village let him just do some things for you you're gonna start oh, the money will start coming oh don't get me wrong it works those chance it works but then it's temporary it comes with all kinds of, they come with all kinds of evil. So before you go speak to the wrong person who will say, let me take you to this place where they will put some things. And before you know it, you will be commanding money. But they don't tell you the things, the requirements. They don't tell you going to be, they, they're going to ask you to bring your child. They're going to ask you to bring your wife. They're going to ask you to bring your mother. They're going to ask you to bring your husband. So they're not going to tell you all of that. I just want to say this. There are so many situations that is so unfavorable to us that we, even with our own hands, put ourselves into. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Excuse me. That we, in with our own hands, got ourselves into just because we did not have that patience. We did not have that wisdom to first go to God first. Take three days and pray and fast on that situation. And then God, that period, God will begin to say, okay, yeah, yeah. 
I know you're looking for a job, but listen now. You've been applying in this, this, this go, why don't you go to Walmart? Walmart will employ you. But meanwhile, your mind never even went to Walmart. You probably thought Walmart was so much, they will not take you. Oh, why don't you go to this place? They will take you. But then your mind had not even crossed that place. That is the Spirit of God beginning to speak to you because you went to God about that situation. Is it your husband is womanizing? Your husband is beating you up? Listen, I do not support abusive behaviors. But let me tell you, many things that couples do to each other, they, it's not even them that is doing it. There is a demon, there is a spirit that is pushing them, that is preventing you from enjoying your relationship. So before we go crazy judging our marriage to everybody who will take us our, our little secrets and go and run it all over town, have you gone to God? Have you gone to God to say, God, what do I do? What do I do about this man? What do I do about this woman? Oh, my mother-in-law is treating me so bad. And I am trying so hard, Lord. What do I do? How do I win her heart? Listen, everything is not about revenge. There are certain situations that when we wait on the Lord, when we take a few days or whatever time God asks you to speak and pray and fast on that situation, and that period of us fasting and praying and waiting on God, it will begin to give us ideas on how to handle that situation, on how to or where to go find that job, or how to deal with that friend, or how to deal with that boss listen there is not every situation you're going to be able to pray and bind and cast out of your life sometime in the process of us going to god to say i need your help my boss no matter how much i work so hard he just hates me she just hates me we keep arguing i'm about to get fired lord what do i do you will see how God, some, it, not something, but almost all the time, we begin to turn that, turn that situation around. God can even tell you, listen, this is not the job where I want you to be. You need to quit that job now, and he will direct you to another place of work. Where you will have peace, where you will have respect, where you will have the love and appreciation from your boss. So meanwhile, this other job where you are, miserable, frustrated, every work you do is zero. Your evaluation comes to your boss, even those who don't work as hard as you, your boss will give them more, more, more grade, more, more, more money, more, uh, more raise. Here you are working so hard. Maybe God does not even want you there, but you may not even know it. Because you're busy trying to be vengeful. You're busy trying to, to retaliate. You're judging the matter all over the job to everybody. Meanwhile, they're taking it back to the boss or to the supervisor. But if you not go someplace and say, Lord, I am tired. But I take over this situation. What do I do? It happened to me. Oh, I had this experience at a job where I used to work. I worked so hard, but it looked like whatever I did was not good enough. But then, when I began to go to God, say, Father, I am tired. I am tired. I can't argue anymore. I can't do, I'm worn out. I get home, I am so tired. I cannot even cook and clean and take care of my family anymore because of this job. The Holy Spirit began to minister to me. The very day I went, I left there, went to another job. I'm telling you, the Spirit of God went with me right there. I was interviewed, I was employed, and today I am happy working there. So, I'm here to tell you, my brothers and sisters, be that encouraged. I don't know what you're dealing with. I don't know what the situation is. But God, always have it in mind that God is in charge. First of all, go to God in prayers. Talk to Him about it. And let God begin to guide you and begin to direct you. 
be of good shape. Wait on the Lord. Be that encouraged. He will strengthen your heart. He will uplift you. He will empower you. He will give you peace. Don't, haven't you had situations where you, 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 your mind is so heavy about something? you crying every day about something. And then as you begin to just speak to God about it, you just begin to have some kind of peace. You just develop some kind of peace that you don't even know where it came from. And you come out and you say, oh, Good morning, my neighbors. They'll be like, Huh? This one saying good morning. It's always so moody. What happened to you overnight? But all of a sudden, God has given you peace concerning that thing. God has calmed your heart concerning that thing. Listen, brothers and sisters. I know that sometimes situation of life can pound on us. Situation of life can make us feel worthless. Situation of life can make us feel like nobody. Listen. As you before you even go about uh, uh, dealing with that situation, I'm here to encourage you. Wait on the Lord. Go to God. Talk to Him. Listen, God has given us the chance to speak to Him through Christ Jesus. No matter how much of a sinner you are, no matter how much sin you have committed in the past, go to Him and just empty everything on Him. Ask him to take over. He begin to calm your heart. He begin to direct you. Oh my God, this song is Jesus. You are worthy of my praise. Yahweh. Yahweh. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You are worthy of my praise. Oh, 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 you are worthy of my praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Sakete lele bose taya bosia. Resake de lele lele lele. Zebrondo sika taya bose kete lele bosia. Reprandia has kondia ha. Zebrande soke de lele bose kataya bronde ha. Has konde his konde he. Rekete lele lele lele. Rekataya bronde has konte. Pray with me, pray with me. Speak in tongues wherever you are. Begin to speak in tongues. Jesus, I don't know why this is Gasconti. Rascon, little Bosia. Zele, lele, 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 Askondie bonde sekete le prondo sekata ya bosia reka de le 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 bos kendi askondia askonde le bosete hey hey raso kete ye bosia rakata le le bosia zele kete ye bondi askondia ha 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 Jesus Christ askonde le le bosia sekete le sekete ye bonde oh Father I don't know how this took a different turn. Resokete ye brondo se kataya babas. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, I pray for you. I pray for you, whoever you are, that is going to come and watch this program. May the Spirit of God calm your heart. Whatever you are dealing with, whatever you are going through, may the Lord Almighty calm your heart. May the Lord Almighty speak to you on how to handle that situation. Oh, may the Lord Almighty direct you to the right source, to the right people, in the name of Jesus. Jesus Christ. Amen. Skonte le bonde le le boshe kata ya prondo. Zele kete ye bronde le su kata ya babas. O skonde ha. Sakote le prondo si kata ya babas. Le de boshe te ye skonde. Oh Lord, I can't stop. Thank you, Jesus. Se kata le prondo si kata ya babas. Hmm. Ah, skonde, skonde. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, for your presence. Scott, 
Tele bondo se kete ye bondo se kata ya bobo se. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for your presence. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for your presence. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for your presence. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for your presence. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Bless you, Lord Jesus. Worship you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. God bless you all for watching. I don't know why it took a different turn. Ah, oh, Zeke, de Lele, oh, Lord, that he le. You are the greatest God. Oh, God, that he le. I worship you today. Oh, God, that he le. You are the greatest God, oh God that healed. I worship you today, Jesus that healed. You are the greatest God, oh God that he let I worship you today. May the Spirit of God heal our hearts and help us through whatever turmoil, whatever storm that is raging, whatever the enemy want to throw at us. In the name of Jesus Christ, thank you, Lord, for your healing. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. I'll see you next time as the Spirit of God lead me to do. This is Spirit Led Ministrations, Worship and Prayer Ministry. By the grace of God, my next Worship and Prayer program will be coming up on March 21st. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for calling me. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for loving me. God bless you all. I pray that the Lord minister this words into our hearts. In Jesus' name, amen. Bless you. I'll see you next time. God bless you.